Good afternoon everyone. So our lesson for this afternoon is all about how do gravity and friction work? Learner's packet or lip from most essential learning competencies. So borrowed materials such as pictures Clip art included in this educational video are owned by their respective copyright holders. So, ang lahat po ng ginamit dito na picture ay um, pagmamayari po ng iba't ibang copyright holders. Okay po. So, for our pretest. Uh, so, let me read the question. What do you call the force that pulls the objects towards the center of the earth? Is it friction, electricity, wind, or gravity? Okay, so the answer is gravity. Next, question number two. What do you call the resistance of an object? To change its motion, is it A, friction, B, electricity, C, wind, or letter D, gravity? So, the answer is letter A, which is friction. Next, number three. What do you call this type of friction that acts on objects when they resting on a surface? Our keyword here is resting on a surface. Is it static friction, sliding, rolling, or fluid friction? So, resting on the surface. So, the answer for this is static friction. Next, number four. What do you call this type of friction that acts on objects when they are sliding over a surface? Static, sliding, rolling, or fluid friction? So, what is your answer? Okay, sliding friction. So, for number 5, what do you call this type of friction that acts on object when they are rolling over a surface? A, static, B, sliding, C, rolling, or letter D, fluid friction. Of course, the answer is rolling friction. Okay, so in this picture, what have you noticed? So, we have here an apple and a mango tree. Okay, so what do you think is the reason behind the falling of apple and mango fruit? Okay, so the apple and mango fruit are both falling from its own tree. They are both falling downward as you can see on your monitor. So, our Earth has its own gravity. That is the reason of falling of the apple and mango fruit from its own tree. So, falling apple and the other one is falling mango. So, the Earth has its own power. So, the man behind this is Sir Isaac Newton. He was an English mathematician and physicist who discovered the gravity. He discovered gravity when he saw a falling apple from the apple tree. And he called this force as, what do you think? Okay, you are correct. He called this force as gravity and determined or determined that gravitational force exists between all objects. So, thanks to Sir Isaac Newton for this because nowadays we all know that the reason behind the falling of, a, of an apple from its own tree is the gravity. Okay, so Earth is a big magnet. Okay, so according to Sir William Gilbert, he famously wrote that the Earth itself is a great magnet our earth is a giant magnet because it has the power to pull things okay 
So since the Earth is a big magnet, it has the power to pull things towards it. The power of the Earth from keeping everything firmly on the ground is what we called gravity. Okay, again, children, the power of keeping everything firmly on the ground, the power of the Earth is what we called Okay, very good. Gravity. So, always remember that, grade 6. The reason behind why you are not uh, floating is the gravity. Now, let's discuss about gravity. So, what is gravity? It is a force by which planet or other body draws objects towards the earth it keeps everything on earth firmly on the ground it is made of quantum particles which they are called gravitons and it is what makes things fall straight down that is gravity so when we are talking gravity it is a force that pulls the object towards the center of the earth okay so do not forget that So that is your earth. So what is gravity on earth? Gravity is very important to us, right? We could not live on earth without it. The sun's gravity keeps earth in orbit around it, keeping us at a comfortable distance to enjoy the sun's light and warmth. It holds down our atmosphere and the air we need to breathe. Gravity is what holds our world together that is the power of gravity so however gravity isn't the same everywhere on earth so may mga lugar po na merong tinatawag na zero gravity or mas less yung gravity doon so gravity is slightly stronger over places with more mass underground than over places with less mass NASA or NASA uses two spacecraft to measure these variations in Earth's gravity. These spacecrafts are part of the Gravity Recovery and Climate Experiment or what they called as the GRACE mission. So, ayun po sa monitor yung dalawang uh, ginamit na satellite or the ginamit na spacecraft to measure the variations of Earth's gravity. Okay, so meron po ko dito na search na mga lugar na kung saan meron pong tinatawag na zero gravity. So, places on Earth where gravity becomes zero. Okay? So, nakapag uh, nagtapon ka ng tubig instead of going downward, ito ay umaakit pataas. Place on Earth where gravity becomes zero. So, we have here. The first one is the mystery spot in Santa Cruz, California. Okay, so, uh, this place where you will see strange irregularities in gravity, such as flowing of water in the upper direction. So, kapag ito ay nagtapon ng tubig instead po na pababa yung buhos ito po ay paakyat okay so meron din ditong nagkakaroon ng deflection of magnetic compasses at different angles yung parang nag-iiba po ang direction ng compass and then changes in the size of people and things at this place also you can stand at an angle without falling down or angle without falling down so, di ba tayo kapag ka tumayo ka ng parang kagaya ng nakikita niyo sa monitor is mangyayari is babagsak ka talaga. Pero dito sa mystery spot in Santa Cruz, California, hindi ka po ba kaagad babagsak. Okay, so parang um, para kang ano, kahit na naka-slide ka na, hindi ka basta-basta matutumba. 
Okay, so the second one is the uh, the Spook Hill. Okay, the Spook Hill in uh, Florida. So, dito naman po, if you stop your vehicle or make it neutral, then you will see that it is being pulled up towards the mountain. So, kagaya po nang nakikita nyo sa monitor, uh, instead of pababa, di ba tayo kapag kayong ating sasakyan is um, nasa pataas na lugar, kapag ka tinigil mo yun, syempre, uh, dapat yun, kung, ba, kung pababa man, say for example, gumamit tayo ng um, skateboard, say skateboard na lang para madali. Pag minilagay mo ito sa isang uh, is slide o sa isang slope na lugar, syempre, ang gagawin niya, pababa dapat, di ba? Pababa. Kasi hinihila. Dapat pababa talaga siya. Pero dito sa Spook Hill, nagtataka sila kasi um, pataas po ang nangyayari sa mga sasakyan. Kapag tinigil mo, gusto siyang umaandar pataas instead of going down. Okay? So, we are done with gravity. Now, let's proceed to friction. So, what is friction? So, it is a force that resists the movement of an object that is slide against each other. So, ganun po ang ginagawa ng friction. It resists. So, kapag sinabi nating uh, resist, ito ay laging nag oppose or nagninigates or lagi pumipigil sa isang bagay. So, friction always work in the direction opposite to the direction in which the object is moving or trying to move. And the other one is friction always slows a moving object down. It is the force that opposes motion. Okay? So, I have here a picture and uh, I wanted to ask you a question on what do you think is the force that makes the boy fall downward on this slide? So, bakit nga kaya bumabagsak yung bata doon sa slide? So, your answer is, okay, gravity. That is correct. The, the reason behind it, the reason of making the boy fall downward on this slide is the gravity. Okay, so ayan po. So, gravity po ang may dahilan dyan. Next, the boy is slowly moving downward to the slide due to his cloth that rub against the slide. What do you think makes his downfall slow? So, ano kaya ang dahilan kung bakit hindi siya kaagad bumabagsak ng mabilis? Bakit na dahan-dahang bumagsak? Okay, your answer is... Okay, very good friction. So, ang sagot po dyan is friction. It makes the boy downfall slow. The boy's cloth in contact with the slide produces the force called friction. Kaya siya dahan-dahan bumababa dun sa, sa slide because of the friction that were created by his cloth and the slide itself. Kaya nakabuo po ng tinatawag na friction. Okay? So, always remember that friction, unlike gravity, is a force that acts between two bodies that are in contact with each other. In this case, the boy's cloth in contact with the slide produce the force called friction. Okay, very good. Ayan. So, I have here a clip art of a boy throwing a ball upward. Okay. So, ano kaya ang dahilan bakit yung ball is bumabagsak pa, balik, or pababa? Okay, why is it, uh, it, uh, it moves, uh, when you, when you throw it upward, it, uh, it came back to you and it fall down. So, bumabalik sa kamay niya. Ano po ang dahilan? Okay. So, yung sagot niya is gravity. That is correct. So, because when we are talking about gravity, it is the reason or uh, it affects in everything that we do. Like running, going up and down on the stairs, and even when we are sleeping. So, it has uh, gravity. 
kahit na nakahiga tayo may gravity kasi hindi naman tayo lumulutang diba pag nakahiga so kaya meron pong gravity doon na nagaganap so you naturally encounter gravity and friction and this help us with our daily life so malaki po ang tulong na nagagawa ng gravity sa buhay natin when you throw stone upward the stone will fall down why? Because the earth is using a strong attractive force on the stone that you have thrown. And that is called gravity. Kagaya po nang sinagot nyo kanina. Okay. Okay, so now, uh, remember yourselves without gravity. So, what will happen to us? So, ano kayong mangyayari sa atin without gravity? So, without gravity, things will float on Earth's surface. So, kapag wala pong gravity, yun ang mangyayari sa atin. Lahat po tayo ay lilipad. So, kaya kailangan natin ng, kailangan natin dyan ng mabigat na bagay para manatili tayo sa ground. Okay. So, gusto nyo ba na pag nagluluto kayo is kailangan nakatali yung katawan nyo dun sa mabigat na object or thing sa bagay, bahay ninyo para hindi kayo mag-float? Okay. So, ayaw nyo diba? So, the answer is no. So, that is why you must be thankful for the, uh, for the gravity that produced by our planet. Dapat magpasalamat po tayo. So, now let's move on to, uh, balik tayo dito sa friction. So, take for example, whenever you comb your hair, friction takes place as you rub your hair using the comb. Friction happens not just between the comb and your hair strands, but also between the comb and your fingers holding the comb itself. Frictions keep the comb stays in your hands. It helps you in doing the combing of your hair. So, pag ang friction kasi nga, di ba, lagi siyang nag-uupos in different direction. So, kapag tayo ay nagsusuklay, lalo na kapag kayong ating suklay is um, yung buhok natin matigas, so nagkakaroon po ng friction. Okay, ganun din sa suklay at sa ating kamay, nag-create po ng friction doon. Okay, so lagi niya pong tatandaan pag friction, it always oppose. Okay po, so now let's discuss about the four types of friction. We have static friction, sliding, rolling, and fluid friction. So, static friction po is kapag ka naglalakad po tayo. Um, ang dahilan po, kaya hindi tayo natutumba kapag tayo ay naglalakad because of the static friction. Okay, so paano po nagkakaroon ng static friction? Between your shoes and the trail or yung kasi nga di ba pag sinabi nating friction it is the force that acts between two objects so yung objects po doon na may na ginamit is yung sapatos mo at yung trail na nilalakaran mo so meron pong force doon so kaya hindi ka nag sleep or hindi ka na tutumba because of the friction that produced by your shoes okay kaya nga di ba pag tayo ay nag um, kapag tayo ay nag uh, naghahike ang pini-prefer talaga natin na shoes is yung may makakapal na spike para maka makapag-create ng uh, friction para hindi po tayo madulas kaagad lalo na kapag yung pupuntahan natin is mababa to. okay so kapag kasi tayo ay natumba syempre mahihirapan tayong mag kapag tayo ay nadulas mahihirapan na tayong uh, umakit sa matataas na lugar Okay po. So, ang ating pong keyword sa static friction is resting on a surface. Next, we have the other one is 
Ano na kaya ang sunod natin? Okay, so sliding friction. So when we are talking about sliding friction, it is a friction that acts on objects when they are sliding over a surface. Sliding friction is weaker than static friction. That's why it is easier to slide a piece of furniture over the floor after you start moving it than it is to get moving in the first place. Ayan, so nakikita nyo naman po sa screen. For example, you are sliding friction when you write a pencil. Ayan, kapag nagsusala tayo, the pencil lead slides easily over the paper. So, di ba? nag slide siya easily. Um, but there's just enough friction between the pencil and the paper to leave a mark. So, kaya po tayo nakakapagsulat sa ating papel kasi gumagamit po tayo ng friction, uh, sliding friction. And the third one is the rolling friction. So, kapag sinabi po natin rolling friction ay it is a friction that acts on object when they are rolling over a surface. Rolling friction is much weaker than sliding friction or static friction. This explains why most forms of ground transportation use wheels, including bicycles, cars, four-wheelers, roller skates, scooters, and skateboard. Ball bearings are another use of rolling friction. So, kaya po uh, gumagamit tayo ng mga brakes para mapigil po ang ating mga sasakyan. So, nagkikreate po yun ng friction para hindi dire-diretso na uh, dumulas ang ating sasakyan. So, yung brake po is responsible para mapigilan po yung tuloy-tuloy uh, na pagtakbo ng isang sasakyan. So, mostly po yung mga gumagamit, po, yung mga nakikipag uh, racing po ng car, they are nilalas po nila ang friction. So, binabawasan nila ang friction sa car nila para mas mabilis itong tumakbo. Kasi, mas, uh, mas less yung friction, mas mabilis tumakbo, mas more yung friction ng sasakyan, mas uh, hindi siya kaagad, hindi siya ganun kabilis tumakbo. So, napiprevent nito yung pagtakbo ng mabilis ng sasakyan. Okay, so meron tayong tinatawag na ball bearing. So, what is a ball bearing? It is a type of rolling element bearing that uses balls to maintain the separation between the bearing races. The purpose of a ball bearing is to reduce rotational friction and support radial and axial load. So, yun po ang um, pinaka-main purpose ng bearing. So, now let's move on to the fourth one which is the fluid friction. So, fluid friction, it is a friction that acts on objects that are moving through a fluid like what you see on your monitor. So, nagsiswimming yung babae. So, meron po yun nangyayaring fluid friction. May nag nagkakaroon po dyan ng pag-uhose or pagkakaroon ng um, pagpigil. So, dapat siya ay mabilis lumangoy. So, ano po ang nagpapatagal sa kanyang makalangoy? Siyempre yung water. So, meron siyang, meron siyang resistance na uh, mayroong resistance na nangyayari by means of water. Okay? So, a fluid is a substance that can flow and take the shape of its container. Fluid includes liquids and gases. That is why paragliding and parachuting is an example of uh, fluid friction. If you ever tried to push your open hand through the water in tub or a pool, then you feel the resistance of the water against your hand. Okay po, so nagkakaroon ng, kaya, ang nananalo sa, pag, sa pagsiswimming is yung mabilis lumangoy. So, ibig sabihin, mabilis siya nakaka-cope up doon sa resistance ng water. So, kapag sinasabi natin fluid friction, ito lang po yung water and air. Ano po? So, there is a resistance of the water against your hand.
Okay, so now let's move on to our performance task 1 in Science 6. So, ano po ang ating performance task 1? So, for our competency, produce an advertisement that demonstrate road safety. So, Filipinos are fund. So, the situation here is all about the Filipinos having the, their New Year's Eve. So, Filipinos are fond of preparing varieties of food during New Year's Eve because they believe that welcoming a prosperous food in the table gives luck for the coming year. One of the foods that is always present in round around sorry around fruits because it symbolizes more money. Sa totoo naman yun, di ba, yung mga magulang niya lagi naghahanap ng mga bilog na prutas tuwing December. Kaya minsan napakang mahal ng mga prutas. Okay. So, you're going to create a poster on how to be safe while traveling and buying fruits in the public market, groceries, stores, or supermarket using the science road safety. So, for the criteria, for, na for you to have a score of 9 or 10, learners should plan carefully and put a lot of thought in the poster. So, dapat talaga pinag-isipan ng mabuti. So, nakaayos, naka, nakaayos ng maigi at pinag-isipan yung laman ng kanyang poster. Okay? So, excellent introduction. Pwede kayong mag-create ng introduction about your drawing or about your poster. Okay? So, next... Complete information and description, of course. It should have a complete information and description para nga mas maintindihan ni teacher kasi di ba there are times na yung mga drawing ninyo is hindi maintindihan. So, kung merong uh, complete information about it, mas maiintindihan ka agad ni teacher isang tingin pa lang. Okay? So, the poster is neat and nice. And it should be uh, identified, the reader should enjoy it, or it should be identified and enjoyed by the reader. So, dapat uh, nag-e-enjoy ang mga reader pagka uh, binasa yon. So, syempre, ako yung reader, ako yung mag-check dun, ano. Then, it should have an excellent conclusion. So, it should have in it should have an excellent conclusion pertaining to your poster. Baka iba kasi ang i-conclude mo doon. So, dapat maayos yung um, conclusion mo. So, magsulat kayo sa baba ng conclusion nyo about your poster. Next, um, for you to have a 6 to 8 points, learners had uh, some planning and thought in the poster. Good introduction, information includes description, the poster is good and neat, and good conclusion. So, merong naiiba from the criteria of having a 9 to 10 score than 6 and 8. So, tingnan nyo na lang ng maigi. So, kung dito sa kabila is uh, the reader should enjoy it by having a good uh, team, nice and neat team. Sa kabila naman is good and neat lang. Okay? So, sa 3 and 5, learners had little planning and thought in the poster. Basic introduction, some information, etc., etc. So, dapat po is carefully planned ang ilalagay ninyo. Siyempre, mas gusto natin na ang score natin is 9 to 10. Then, 0 to 2, did not plan. Hindi pinag-isipan. Lalang, makagawa lang. Minimal or no introduction at all. There is, there is a little or no information. There was no poster presented and no conclusion. So, I have here some sample. So, ito po yung sa road safety. Ayan. So, sample po ito ng isang poster. Saan po ba gagawin ng poster? Mas maganda kung sa white cartolina. Kasi kapag sa band paper, hindi magkakasya yung mga road safety na ilalagay nyo. Or pwede rin na magumawa ng ganito. Pero ito very limited lang. Maganda ang pagkakagawa ng poster. Pero very limited lang yung road safety and signs na nilagay. Then, this one also, uh, ayan, so, pangatlong sample ng poster. Yan po. So, make it clear. Yung sulat ninyo, siguraduhin po na nababasa ka agad. Okay? So, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click in 
subscribe.